Hey, it's Kevin DeWitch here and welcome to the Past His Prime YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel and you're interested in relaxed, casual gaming for an older generation, then please subscribe to my channel. Like the video and click the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos. Welcome back to Jurassic World The Game. Alright, we've got a couple of things to do here. One big obvious thing is if we look up to the top right hand corner, you'll see that I have over 12,000 loyalty points. So that is really exciting because I get to buy something, which I'm really happy about. We'll start our usual little thing here of running around. I uh, got a couple of gifts from uh, Ludia as well for... Uh, I think it was for the Code 19 problem that's happening at the moment where it's, there is no Code 19 happening. So they gave me some SDNA a couple of times in a pack and just separately. So that was nice. Um, as much as Code 19s can be handy to get that DNA, I do find them annoying and distracting, but, you know, they're part of the game. Got to deal with it. All right, uh, let's just grab the coins first. We'll come back for our DNA in a minute. Yeah, I got some massive, uh, massive loyalty point uh, wins from battles and various things. So it was a really good, really good uh, boost up there. Definitely helps when you're getting four times their loyalty points at the moment, but as many people have also noticed, some of the loyalty points that are being given for certain things were actually reduced. So the four times actually equals what it was prior at two times, which was what you got by default as a VIP member anyway. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that. I don't know if that was a sly way of introducing a reduced loyalty points to all players, including VIPs. And yeah, making you think that you were getting four times when you really weren't. And then when they remove the four times, you accept the reduction thinking that that was what it was normally, but it wasn't. And it's not everything. I don't know what it is because I didn't really pay too much attention, which is, I guess, what the plan possibly was. Because if you don't pay attention, then you wouldn't know what you mi are missing out on. But there definitely was something reduced. All right, so let's go and grab our DNA. And, oh, that was our sixth one. So we are ready to upgrade. So, again, it's $5. So that has not changed. So that's good five dollars each upgrade so we are going to go for the upgrade and the great thing is is they give you um more dna when you do it and even more again so you get some bonus dna when you upgrade so we're now at 500 every 12 hours oh we've got to go 15 times this time okay so we were six before, so it's more than double this time. Very interesting. All right, we'll claim that. How is this little thing going? Oh, it's close. Very close. All right, what have we got over here? So let's have a look in here. We have something to get out. And it is... Ostafricosaurus. Which I was excited to get, because I didn't have one of these, and it's a legendary, but uh, I've also heard that it's not very good. But... Having something is better than nothing. Alright, so we need to make some space over on Isla Nubla for this thing. 
Uh, it was a small one, wasn't it? Yes, it is a small one. So we'll go to our little row here of smalls, and I'm going to... I'm going to sell these, hey? Let's sell... Now this is going to be an interesting layout here because we have too many things. Uh, oh no, it'd be perfect. It's a perfect spot for one more. Yeah, it is. This one's a little bit weirder because this one's one off, so... To get one in here, we'll probably end up with only one row of fountains on the edge. Otherwise, we have to just skip this whole spot, which I don't really want to do that. All right, so freed the space. So let's go and grab him. Pick him up. Click on the button and bang. Bob's your uncle. So here he is, Ostafrica. Frickosaurus. So what have we got? Fossils of the Ostafrickosaurus were first collected between 1909 and 1925 in Tanzania, East Africa. Very good. It's a weird sort of colour and face on it. Very green. Well, let's level him up first. So he can create a hybrid Ostopasaurus. If we get a Microposaurus, which I don't even have that one. So yeah, that's good. Lots of hybrids that I can't do yet. Okay, we've still got a pretty full house here. And what do we have? Oh, we have a hologram museum. Okay, we have nothing in here. They're on sale. That's interesting. Let me have a look because I'm trying to get the level 40 Stegosaurus for the mission. Ah, we are still... I hate that, that you can't go to its spot. Where the heck is it? No, it's the Ceratops. Is it in a big paddock or a small paddock? Oh, actually, I know where it was. Because every time it generated, it came up right behind my big beacon here, which is here. Okay, so we have two in there. They're being incubated at the moment, so that's going to be a level 30. So we need another... We need another four. I think that's how it works. 10 and 10 goes to 20. 10 and 10, 20, 20, 20, 30, yes. So we need another four stegger ceratops. And we have one in here. So we need another three. We need another three. Okay. And it is on sale. So now is the time to buy. Uh, unfortunately, I have to put one in, and I can only buy one more. It's a little bit annoying that they do that in the game, that you can only buy one and store it ready to be hatched. But I guess buying two is better than none. In two hours, I could have got these out. 
Anyway. Right. So, yeah, because it won't let you buy another one because it says hatch, which, yeah, it's really annoying it does that. Have we got a trade available? Let's have a look. Ah, uh, we could get 72 cash for that. Or 53 DNA. What's better value? I do know. I guess I always go for the DNA. Okay, let's do it. Oh, 11,000 cash. We could have bought something. Oh, we don't have 11,000 cash. So how's that for you? You got 84 million coins. Okay, so... We also have... We've still got our battle stage 82 to do. And they got two battles in here today. A rarity rumble and a stakeholder's visit. So I'm going to start by buying a pack solid gold plus never heard of that one before I don't know what, what makes it plus I don't know is it oh is it plus because it's guaranteed it's one you don't own hmm maybe 35,000 though. I don't have that. No, that's on sale. Don't have that either. But I do have 10 grand. So what have we got options for? Got a few we own, a few we don't. Yeah. Anyway, let's, uh, let's do it. Let's see what we get. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What is it? Oh, okay. That's definitely new. Pano Chithus. Pano, Pano, Pano Chithus? God. Not easy for me to say. Yeah, okay. This was the one that people said got halved because I remember doing this pack when it was uh two times and i got 1300 we're now getting 1300 with four times that means that they have nerfed this loyalty point that you get for your soul gold packs so it'll be interesting to see what happens after the four times disappears will it be halved or will they realize they made a mistake and it still be 1300 Anyway, we've got 3,600, so we're well on our way to the next, uh, the next solid gold pack. And we've got nowhere to put him at the moment, so we can't go and hatch him because we've got a full thing. All right, let's go and have a look at a battle. So I'm thinking we will start with the Rarity Rumble. Uh, we can also win loyalty points in this other one, but let's start with Rarity Rumble. Let's have a look, see what we can do. So this is only legendaries by this. Must be hybrids of legendaries as well, because we've got some hybrids there, or well, one hybrid. All right, so we have amphibian and two carnivores. So I would say we're going to go for an amphibian or pterosaur. We could mix it up. Um, let's have a look. So we've got four. All right, so we would have a benefit there. 
So what if we mix it up a bit? So we'll go with that guy. Question is, do we need to go the big guns yet? Or can we get away with Corsaurus as our main creature? Hmm, it's interesting. We could be undercooking it. We might undercook this. Well, let's let's just see our luck here. Eh? All right, we're gonna go for a save. Uh, he's got two and Dino swaps straight away. All right, uh, we're gonna go with three. Three saves. Alright, he's got three. Goes for two, so keeps one. Okay, can we take this guy out now or what? One, two, three will kill. One for the block. Two saves. Alright, uh, he's got four swaps, okay, goes for two, so what does that mean, that means he kept one, hmm, this is tricky, I might have undercooked this, one, three, kills and in four we're gonna have to go two block we could be in trouble ah oh, he's got five will that kill me no, he only went two so he kept three. Oh god what does that mean Oh, I think I'm going to have to go aggressive, because if he's done saves, I'm in trouble. Okay, yes. So he did do saves. We would have been in trouble. If I had have been hesitant, because I would have had to just do blocks, I would have been stuffed. We're lucky. Almost, almost undercooked that. That was really, uh, I was pushing the boundaries, I think, there with the level. Uh, okay, so we have Amphibian, Herbivore, and Pterosaur. So, Herbivore, I guess, is our main contender here. Again, we could start off with the Pterosaur, but I'm worried we're going to run out. Always worried we're going to run out of things. So, what if we chuck that guy in and then... I'm worried about undercooking this again. Of course, I'm worried about overcooking it as well, because then we don't have any creatures left. If I go... I think I have to because they're pretty good. I mean, they're very evenly matched with me. Okay. Worst case is we're going to overcook it. And run out of creatures. Okay. Save. He's got two... 
Doesn't do anything. Okay, we're just going to go three saves. Doesn't do anything again. He's probably doing two blocks again. So I'm going to go four. I'll go two in case he's done one. No, he did do two blocks again. Interesting. He's got three. And goes for the three. Right. Oh, we've got to use a lot to kill him, don't we? Damn. One, two, three, four. Oh, we're going to use six to kill. Okay, we'll save two. All right, he's got four. Goes for the four. Oh, God. This is going to be tough. So one, two will kill. He's going to be weak. Uh, so I'm going to go three blocks and one save. Okay. He's got four. Go for the four, please. Yes. Good, now I know where I stand. And we can just go and destroy him. Excellent. All right, two to go. Gonna get tougher, gonna get tougher. Okay, so we got herbivore, carnivore, and amphibian. So we want amphibians this time. But, got a herbivore first. So we could throw in a carnivore. Let's chuck in this carnivore. Hmm. We are really getting low with creatures here, aren't we? Let's check in that carnivore as well, and then we will go with our big amphibian. We're going to be really struggling with the last one, I think. Okay, save. Probably going to dino swap, I'd imagine. Yep. Oh, could have taken me out, didn't. Alright, we'll go three saves. Okay, used all three. But I am extremely weak. So I'm going to swap. And then... I can kill him with two. Um, I'm going to go what? Oh, what am I going to go? One block, two saves. I don't know. I'd like this guy not to die. 
Okay, he's got three. Is he going to swap? Yes, he is. Goes for one. So we had three, so he saved one. Uh, he saved one. Okay, so I could swap, but what would be the point? He's a weaker here. There's no point. Or I could switch over him to fodder him off. Uh, not yet. Okay. So he saved one. So let's go one. Two will kill. So we go three. One. We'll go two block one save. Okay, this guy comes in, he's got five. Okay, he doesn't do anything. I'm gonna swap. I'm gonna do a weird move. I'm gonna swap. And I'm gonna do four saves. I'm gonna see if he takes the bait. He's got seven. Goes for four, so he kept three. Which is still fine. Alright, I've got a thousand hit, so... I sacrificed that carnivore to get a big build-up of points. 20,000 that hit was? Holy crap! All right, one to go. Now this is where the challenge comes. Have I got anything left? All right, we have two herbivores and a carnivore. All right, so carnivore seems to be the play. What have we got up here? We've got two carnivores. That are okay. I'm going to do my placement similar to last time. So I'm going to put that guy in. Then I'm going to put my big one in. And then I might put... This herbivore. I'll see if I need to use that same tactic of sacrificing him at the end. Alright, so we are going to save again. Pretty repetitive. He's got two. Probably going to swap. Yes. Got one. Probably won't do anything. No, didn't do anything. Three saves. Okay, he's got three. Does nothing, okay. Can he go four, two hits? Okay, because he's saving. Alright, we'll make a small dint. He's got five now. Goes for four, keeps one. Okay, keeps one. Good to know. So I'm going to go one, two, three. Keeps one, so I have to go four. I'm gonna go two block, two save. Okay. Alright, I've only got who before's left now. Just got four. Okay, doesn't do anything. I'm going to switch. I'm going to do four saves and one hit. 
Oh, he did three blocks. Yeah, very interesting. Alright, he's got five. Goes for four, keeps one. Okay. Keeps one. Alright, so. We now go one, two, three kills. Kept one, so we'll assume he saved. Two. We'll go three block, one save. He has four. Doesn't do anything. Okay, so if he did four blocks, I've only got one hit. Oh, this could blow up in my face. I think I have to be aggressive again. I have to assume that he's saving, because it's the only way he can win. Alright, let's go to the five. Oh, he saved a lot. He went for the whole enchilada, because he figured he had no chance. Which he didn't. Could have won him the game if I had been hesitant again. Alright, what are we gonna get? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme something good. Oh, another T-Rex! <gasps> Very good! I've already got T-Rexes, but it's leading me well on my way to getting an Indominus Rex. Okay, and we're moving up in our Clash of the Titans there. 17 out of 28. We've still got 18 days. Uh, almost 19 days. Okay. Uh, what do we got in here? This looks tough. Carnivore and two amphibians. So we could go pterosaurs or amphibians. Problem is, I've used all my bloody creatures. Okay, we could start off with that guy. We chuck him in, he's gonna switch to an amphibian. We could then switch over to Pterodactylus. And do we need another big one or can we get away with a smaller one? Oh, he's got a big hit. He's got a big hit. So he doesn't have the health, but he's got a huge hit. Okay, let's try this tactic out. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to save. He'll probably swap. Got two, leaves him one, swapped, can't kill me. Doesn't do anything with it. I'm gonna go three saves. Let's see what he does. He's got two and he does nothing. We'll go for um You know, I'm going to do two blocks this time. I'm going to do something different. He's got three. Does nothing still. Okay. Okay. We got four. Oh, I'll go four hits. We only get one in. Okay. Better than nothing. Okay, so he's got four. Oh, he did nothing again. Okay. We'll go four hits again. Oh, he did four blocks. Really? Really? 
Okay. Now he goes for four hits. Kills me. Alright. So we are now pretty strong. So two will do the job. We'll go four save, two block. Four swaps. Interesting. Okay, left with three. Does not attack. Does not attack. So he's got three. Oh, could kill him. One, two, three would kill. He's potentially got three blocks. One, two, three. Do two saves. Lucky he did the three blocks. Alright, now you got four. Will you take me out? You only went for two. Okay. So you left with two. Oh, I didn't need the last guy. Wow, okay. Did not expect that. Did not expect that at all. All right, this time we have herbivore, carnivore, and pterosaur. So, carnivore is the name of the game. So I'm going to go with that guy. So if I go carnivore, he's going to swap to either the carnivore or the pterosaur. More likely you'd think he'd go to the carnivore. So I don't want to be a herbivore could remain on carnivores I could chuck a herbivore in the end if in case the pterosaurs left I don't know is that a stupid move hmm could be let's see let us see, hey? Save a Rooney. Gonna swap. Yes, you are. And you swap to the carnival. Thought you would. And you do one hit. Interesting. So you got nothing left. I've got 300. Three. I don't think going all three would kill him, would it? I don't think it would, but I'm tempted. It did. Ooh. I didn't think it would, but it must have been close. Okay. So he's got two. Goes for one to finish me off. Kept one. Kept one. So I... I wouldn't be able to kill him this time. That could put me in an awkward spot with the herbivore, though. Ah, uh, bugger. This is awkward. Oh, I'm going to have to go aggressive. Oh, he didn't block. Oh, I've killed him. Oh, man, he didn't block. I thought he would. All right, he's got four. Is he going to take me out? Four goes for two. So he's kept two. 
It's kept two. I've got four. He's done. He's done. He is done. Well, that worked perfectly. Played it extremely aggressively there. But it worked. Okay, one to go. Two herbivores and an amphibian. Oh, we've gone for the diagonal. Oh, God. Oh, okay. That makes it really tricky. What would have been nice... Oh, 100 bucks. Go away. What's his hit? 481. Ah, why so expensive? Hmm. I was really hoping to have one that could take this first guy out in one hit. That's what I was hoping for. Because that really would set me up nicely. So if I go Carnivore, he's going to switch to an Amphibian. As soon as he does that, I would want my second to be a Pterosaur. Oh, it could be a... Oh, I could go with a big one. Okay, then he'll follow up with the herbivore. Which I guess I'm fine to just follow up with the herbivore. Yeah, let's go with that. And that then doesn't cost me anything. And hopefully it works. I would have loved to have had a creature that could have taken this guy out in one hit because that really would have set me up nicely. But I think this will still work. Okay, so we're going to go save. He's got two. He's going to swap. Yes, to the amphibian. Of course you are. You didn't hit me. You saved one. That's fine. I'm just going to build up. Go for three saves. He's got two hits. Will he take me? Takes me with one, so he saved one. In comes my huge pterodon. So he's got one save. So we can now take him out. So it's two to kill, one for the block. I'll just do three saves. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I am extremely weak. Oh god, this might not work. Goes for all four. Okay. Yeah. Well, he hasn't got much in the way of health, so... Kill him with two. What's the next guy? 500. So we can go for three and two saves. Three block, two saves. Okay, so he's got four. Oh, he only went for two. So he's kept two. So if he's got two blocks, I've got four hits. Four fours is 18, so we should be good. Should be good. Oh, and he didn't do all the blocks anyway. Excellent. We did it. Didn't cost me any bucks. Happy with that. Didn't have to waste a hundred bucks. And, okay. Here's what always happens. Before I spin this wheel, here's what always happens. They tease me in with this lovely 1500 loyalty points. 
always spin the lowest value. So I'm thinking the lowest value is 700. My estimate, I'm going to get the 700. All right, that's my prediction. Let's see. Oh, 850. I was close. We got a little bit higher. But still, we didn't get the top. Never get the top. Well, I don't. But I get a four times bonus. 3,400. Holy crap. I am almost at the 19 already. Ah, oh, 950 bucks for another go. That would be another 3,400. I don't know if it's worth that. Is it worth that? That is really tempting, I've got to say. It is really tempting. I just don't know if it's worth 950 bucks. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do it. Ah, uh, what's the prediction this time? It's got to be 700. There it is, 700. I told you, never going to get the top. Still, four times bonus. 2,800. Bang. There we go. Is it 10,000 or 8? 9,000. I keep confusing myself for the pack. I think it's 10. It has to be 10. It is. Look at that. We're only oh, less than 200 away. If only it had been a little bit more than 700. Damn. Okay. Claim. And claim. Oh, we could get JWs from a speed up. Oh, how could I do a speed up quickly? Okay, excellent. So we could buy another pack. Amazing. So let's shoot across and let's see what we get this time. What have we got? What have we got? I don't know. Oh, it's a Lumbia. Oh my God, I've already got it. <laughs> and there's 1300 back. Another Alumbia. Okay, how many Alumbias have I already got? I have got one. Okay, so... I can't evolve him any further, but I will have a second one, one at level 10. So, you know, it's helpful. It is helpful, except it doesn't give me new creatures. All right, well, hopefully that was enjoyable. Please remember, if you like what you see here, subscribe to the channel, click the like button, click the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos. Go and check out some of my other videos here that are linked on the side. And I thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one.